guy that we're not talking about nearly enough is Missouri running back Tyler Beatty. This is a guy who has waited his turn behind Larry Roundtree for a couple years, and now he's making the most of that opportunity. And while this is a guy who's a versatile player who can make plays both in the running and the passing game, against North Texas this weekend, he made good use of the running game. He made good use with his legs, and we're going to go over a couple plays that make him so great. Missouri likes to run these stretch plays here. It gives Beatty a good chance to read where defenders are going. We're going to get flow to the left here. We're going to have a tight end kick out on the backside to kick out the last defender. And it just gives him a chance to read where the openings are going to be. And so, first of all, uh, if you look at the left tackle here, it's going to be really easy to find a hole if your left tackle does that to a defender. Uh, if you're you're able to make a defender face plant, probably doing pretty well. So that's obviously the hole that Beatty is going to go through. And then we get to the part where now we're on the sideline. So we're running stretch the boundary. And so what that means is that when we get to the outside, we don't have room. We only have two directions that we can go straight ahead or to the right. There's no option to the left because the sideline is there. And Beatty understands that with the defender coming here, he knows that he has the ability to either keep going forward, or as you can see in a little bit, we have blockers that are going to be in the way. So instead, what he does is he lowers his pad level, look at the singing of the hips, makes a cut with the defender not, not breaking down, and then you're making a guy miss, and then you're off to the races from there. So it's just uh, being able to read, nice mauling by the left tackle. I mean, shout out to 76 there. That's just grown man strength there. And then from there, it's the Tyler Beatty show. Just, uh, again, break down, lower your hips. Defender does not do the same. Broken tackle, off to the races. All right, so this one, not as clear as the first one. You're going to have to use your vision a little bit more if you're Tyler Beatty on this one because first thing we're going to see is we get penetration upfield. So we got a guy three yards in the backfield. That's the first thing. So that cuts off. Right now he's going out here. So that essentially limits him to a couple openings, either running outside or cutting it back here. And then another thing is that we're going to see you have alignment falling down. So that essentially takes away this gap here. So he has this option, or he can cut back, but he doesn't know right now who is coming from the back side. So he has to make a decision and he decides to cut it back. Well, that's a good decision. We get overflow here by two defenders, a questionable block in the back here, but we're gonna go over that. Uh, yeah, so yeah, that's a block in the back, but whatever. <laughs> we're, not gonna, we're not gonna go into that, but T Tyler Beatty sees the cutback here, the option to, to cut back, gets a missed tackle, thanks mostly to a block in the back. However, you just, you know, you see overflow, over pursuit, and then he gets to the second level. Now, lowering the head, don't really love the head angle here. Kind of looks bad when you're in slow motion, but low pad level usually wins. This is where it gets kind of interesting, because this is a play that should end here. This play should be over whether this guy tackles him or if this guy jumps in. But some poor tackling by North Texas. But also you have to give credit to Beatty for keeping his legs moving. You see those legs, they keep moving. And that's a big key. Even if North Texas is playing bad football here, sometimes if you if you do your part, good things will happen. And Tyler Beatty knows that. Continues to drive his legs and then makes another guy miss. And once again, we're off to the races. So uh, it's... Missouri knows what they have in Tyler Beatty. They know that they're going to give him a chance to make plays. They know that he has the vision to see the openings. They're going to run these stretch plays so that he has a chance to make good decisions. And he knows that they know that he's going to find an opening and he's going to continue to make plays. So this is a guy who I think that we will be talking about a lot more as the season progresses, and then when the NFL draft comes around, this is a guy who's going to be rising up on a lot of people's boards. 
We haven't even talked about his pass catching ability, and that's something that I think teams will like a lot. This is a versatile weapon that someone will covet, and this weekend was a good example of what he can do on the ground, and that's just the start of what he can do.